What's going on guys and welcome to Bow Gear RC videos. So I've been away for a couple weeks doing some school and I've been sitting on some stuff for a couple weeks that I've been chomping at the bit to show you. So let's just get right into it. Um, the word of today is there is no tech like Fury Tech for your small scale uh, rigs. Now if you're not familiar with what this is this is the fury tech lizard esc um this thing guys is an absolute game changer this 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 little guy right here packs some stupid punch um this this changes a lot of things that we were uh that we used to think about you know the rc hobby Th this thing is really an amazing little guy now just for the basics of this this is a 20 amp esc it's got a 40 amp peak it uh has a 1.5 amp bec and to put that into perspective the traxxas trx4 has a 1 amp bec so th this little guy right off the bat this this guy packs a lot of punch for a small scale rig but that's not even the beginnings of it. Um, this little plug right here that you can see, there's a, a little Bluetooth module that plugs into this or a dongle, whatever they call it, where you can actually uh, program your ESC right from your phone. There's a free app on the Play Store, um, Apple Store, whatever phone you got, there's an app so that you can, uh, you know, Bluetooth into this thing and get it set up for your rig. Now, what's uh, really neat about this thing is that it doesn't matter if you if you want to run a brush motor, if you were going to run your stock motor in your SCX24, for example, this thing is going to control it a lot smoother, a lot better than the stock ESC that's in your uh, SCX24. If you want to step up your game, maybe uh, go on Shapeways, get yourself a Gammy motor plate and put like this little 130 brush motor in there. Well, you can do that too. This guy's going to take care of that. It's going to run it nice and smooth for you. But uh, that's not all. If you want to run brushless, well, you can do that too. If you want to run something like this uh, little Surpass uh, Outrunner motor. This thing's going to take care of that, and if you go brushless, that's where the PFM comes in. Now, if you're not familiar with the term PFM, it's a technical term. It means pure freaking magic, because that's what this thing is going to do for you. It's just pure magic. <laughs> yeah, so this thing, uh, th this is a field-oriented control motor controller. And uh, you might, uh, when I say field-oriented control, your mind might go to something like the Hobby Wing Axe system for the one-tenth scale rigs. But what that is is a system. That's where your ESC, your motor, it, it's a package deal. You can't swap around different motors with the ESC, and you can't swap the motor to a different ESC. It's a, it's a package deal. This is not like that, guys. You can run any little brushless motor with this esc it's going to give you the field oriented control and what that means um basically like in this motor the outside turns inside stays uh in an in runner the inside turns the outside stays put but uh when our magnets or our fields are in alignment with each other this is when we're at the our lowest amount of torque and when those fields are 90 degrees apart like this this is when we're at our maximum amount of torque for the motor so basically what happens is the motor's turning we get little torque maximum torque little torque maximum torque what the field oriented control does is just what it sounds like it orients the the field so through the three wires it's rotating the field as the motor rotates so the field is always 90 degrees apart which makes the motor always produce the maximum torque per amp and that is why we get the stupid slow speed control the smooth control that's what field oriented control does for us and uh 
a lot of the things that we used to think, you know, volt up, gear down, uh, low KV motors for crawlers, high KV motors for bashers, things like that. This kind of changes. And uh, I'm going to show you that with this truck here in just a second. All right, guys. So if you're familiar with this truck, this is the Mega Mud Bolt build. Um, I've got these MT Hobbies uh, Mud Ripper tires, so I decided I wanted to build a Mega Mud truck. And what I came out with looked like a Mega Mud truck, but it was still performing like a crawler. And I put a little brushless motor in it uh, last time, and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It wasn't what I was wanting to achieve. So now I've installed the uh, Fury Tech Lizard ESC with a motor that I'll tell you about in a little bit. But um, I want to show you the low speed control. And bear in mind that uh, I did go with the uh, Hobby Racing spur gear in here. And I have a, uh, the pinion gear is out of a, uh, it's for a Kyosho Mini Z. And it was the largest gear in the package. So it's like a 10 tooth. This is uh, really geared up from the way it was stock. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this slow speed crawl. So here we are, we're geared up and we're still crawling much better than we were stock. Look at that. That's with this thing geared up. No problem, super smooth, super slow. But the thing is, guys, this is one of the things that uh, I was telling you that our conventional way of thinking about things has changed with this ESC. Because this motor that's in here should not be doing what you just seen it do. It should be doing this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You seen that right, guys. So we've got anywhere from some stupid slow crawl to ripping. That's a wide variety. That's a wide range of different speeds. This motor should not be doing this, guys. And uh, right now I'm going to show you what's in here. This is a Charisma, check it out, 8,000 kV motor, geared up and still crawling that slow. That's crazy. That is, it's, it shouldn't do that. That's 8,000 kV motor. And look, it don't care. <laughs> that is sick. That is Fury Tech. There's no tech on the market today like Fury Tech for your uh, small scale crawlers, guys. And that's why I wanted to show you that even with an 8,000 kV motor, we can still achieve that super slow, super strong, low speed. Look at that, look at that. That's an 8,000 kV motor crawling that slow and then rip so with that being said guys i think the mega mud bolt is just about to where i envisioned it being and it's all possible because of the fury tech esc i'm going to leave a link in the description below so that uh, you can grab your uh, fury tech i'm sure they're sold out right now but uh i would highly advise getting one on order because these things are going like hotcakes. And uh, this is the future, guys. This is the future for uh, our 124 scale stuff. So until next time, old Uncle Lee, Bogear RC Video saying I'll see ya.